why wouldn't you do it up front? Just one of those many questions I have here, and I just have to laugh at it, and just part of the day. Now, the other thing that's really exciting is there is no garbage cans, so I just have to walk the garbage out somewhere, find someone, and then they do something with it. Uh, so we have not got any communal garbage uh, area yet. And I think they just toss it in a pile on the backside of one of the construction sites is what they're honestly doing. Um, so that's bringing in some night critters, let's just say, uh, giving them things to feast on. But one of the positive things is because of that, uh, we did see an absolutely amazing, huge owl. I don't even know where this owl could be living because uh, it had to be at least 24, 30 inches tall. And it was standing on the rooftop. We saw it at 3 a.m. in the morning uh, during the blood moon that was going on. And it was just sitting on the edge of the home over there. Spectacular, I mean, to see an owl at night. And he was hooting and howling. Um, but he had uh, a white-breasted chest, you could see. And every 15, 20 minutes, he would swoop down the, the driveway and I know he was going after one of those night critters, which would probably be a rat, uh, and catching him. So it was a good, easy feasting for him. So that was cool seeing that as well. So always look for the positive and the fun things. So once again, always follow along, see the activity, see what it's like living in Mexico, building a home, uh, doing pre-construction living. Uh, you know, it does save a lot of money. Uh, but it may not be for everyone. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, it wouldn't have been for me either if I would have been told when the true honest move-in date is, uh, which they keep telling us we're going to have neighbors next week, and then the week after that, it's next week. Uh, I don't see anyone moving in here for months yet. Uh, honestly, it may even be four to six months we'll be living here alone. You know, we won't uh, probably post these videos until we do have neighbors and the gate is actually secured uh, for safety reasons for us as well. But uh, without further ado, let's, uh, I'm going to take you outside. That way you can hear the noise and what's going on and my trying to find a garbage uh, facility. And then I will show you a picture of what's going on with these uh, manhole covers out here. Coming up on one of the manhole covers, which you can see here, if I'm not blocking it, where you can reach up here and you get a built-in handle here. That's how you gain access to those holes. You can also see where they're busting out the concrete after they poured these beautiful sidewalks. Then they come back and bust everything out to add a pipe, which once again you gotta ask yourself, why? Why would they have not done that at the very beginning? Now I just gotta find a place to put my garbage. Oh, here's the garbage where they told me to put it last Friday. It is still sitting here, so I guess I will lay it right here with that as well, and then I will contact the manager that this is where I put the garbage. Well, my uh, camera shut off, saying I was out of memory. So what did that take, like two or three hours? Um, they kept saying that I had... Uh, other storage is full. It had taken all the memory out of the phone. And so it took me like two hours Googling and trying to figure this thing out, um, calling on some friends. And finally, my uh, AVG cleaner uh, did a, I ran a scan with it. And then it pulled up that everything that I put into trash is my other other storage. So if they would just say other storage is what you put in trash, it would have been quick and easy to figure this out. 
So once I was able to pull that up, then I deleted a second time, which I understand why they do that, but it'd be so much simpler. Again, you always have to ask why. Why would it not just say trash? And click here to delete the trash. So anyway, I spent two hours doing that. And then uh, had another contractor come in to readjust some railings that uh, were not put in in the right spot. Um, and then he's working on some estimates uh, for pergola and some other things on the home. And he's actually an excellent contractor. He does everything that you ask and without arguing, uh, which to me that adds, uh, that makes you excellent. Uh, just the fact that they agree that, hey, I made a mistake, let's fix it and get it done. So, uh, but I am going to be interviewing him in the future. Uh, he's an excellent contractor. He does commercial work as well. But now I'm going to take you back outside where I got cut off talking about these manhole covers. Like I said, it was about four or five guys all day long, and they're probably not even a third of the way done. Uh, but I'm going to show you a couple of the finished ones. And again, had they done it when the concrete was wet, they could have recessed the handle a little bit because now it kind of sticks up. So if you're walking over it, you could kick your foot on it and trip. But, you know, that's okay. That's part of the fun of working uh, here in uh, Mexico on a home. So I'm going to take you out and show you that information. And then we're going to see if they picked up the garbage or not. Uh, another fun thing is now it's dark. Everyone's gone home. And, and I did talk to a supervisor right at that moment I got cut off. And he said that that was where I should put the garbage. So it has been there already three nights. And we'll go out there and see if it's still there or did they pick it up? That's the question. As you can see, the manhole cover now to our water tank has this beautiful handmade, hand carved handle, which before it was strictly a wire coming out of it, which the guys had almost cut their hands pulling it out. So it's really cool. But again, you could see if they'd done it when it was wet, it would recess. Now this sticks up a quarter of an inch or more off the ground. And let's see over here. Yep, here they saved the wire. So you can see this was the wire that used to be in the concrete that you would pull it out with. And... Again, this is what it looks like at nighttime here. All the guys have gone into the vacant homes preparing their meals. And they just leave these open. So you got to really watch where you're going and doing. Otherwise, you might fall in if you're not paying attention. Like I said, they've only done a few on this side, and they probably got uh, like 30 or 40 more to do. And I was coming down here to see if they picked up the garbage. So this is hilarious. Here we go. This is going to be night four. And this time I brought out garbage that's got food in it, so it's probably going to be torn into tonight by some rats or other animals. But here it is, right here. It has not been picked up. It looks like a couple of the boxes were taken, so somebody must have wanted the boxes. But otherwise, the garbage is still here. Absolutely hilarious. So, once again, I was told what would happen, and it did not happen. So, heading back in for the evening. So, everyone, adios. Have a great night. And we'll continue to put out videos of our exciting lives here in Mexico. Uh, building a home from scratch here. And good night all. Here I am just trying to be myself. It's a crazy world. Looking to find my place and all they do is...